it's Robin and welcome back and I thought today I would film a day in the life video um, because um, I didn't have don't have very much to share with you I've been a little limited as to what I can do as of late because last Friday I had a very klutzy moment and I sort of injured myself <laughs> so I've been hobbling around um, for the last five days or so um, pretty much unable to do much but sit around with my foot elevated so basically what happened is I was going about my business um, cleaning up the kitchen and I caught to my little pinky toe on um, a stool so uh, that of course hurt but I landed weird or somehow and ended up hurting actually the other side of my foot, like right at the base of my big toe. Now, at first, I didn't think much of it, thinking, oh, okay, well, this isn't the first time I've hurt my little toe. Because <laughs> the pain was sharp, but it subsided very quickly. But within a couple hours, I realized that the other side of my foot was really hurting. And then within like four hours, it was really starting to swell. But the next morning, I couldn't walk hardly at all, and it was swollen like twice its size. So at that point, I'm like, started icing it, could barely walk around. <laughs> it was just like, this is ridiculous. But anyways, so basically, for the last five days, I've been sitting on my butt, or laying down with my foot up in the air, or I'm icing it. So, it hasn't been very exciting, but... So today is the first day that I'm actually able to like walk around. The swelling has gone down considerably, but it's not gone all the way. Like the bottom foot part of my foot is less swollen, so I can actually walk flat-footed now, if that makes sense, is per, instead of the side of my foot. And yes, I did go to the doctor. I wasn't going to go to the doctor, but I was worried because by, because it happened on Friday, I waited the whole weekend, and then I went in on Monday because I was worried that maybe I did break it or something like that. I just wanted to know for sure that it wasn't broken. Um, so that was an ordeal in and of itself of having to go to the doctor, which is really scary this time with all the craziness going on. But it all worked out just fine. It is not broken. It's just a really bad sprain. And the doctor expects it to get better. It may take a couple of weeks. But I am so happy and I'm actually like able to move around a lot today. I haven't even had to ice it yet and it's already like 10 o'clock. So I am so thrilled <laughs> that I am moving around. Uh, the doctor did give, did give me like this nice little boot thing to wear. It's like a, not a boot, it's like a shoe. It's a really hard sole and it kind of has a circ, like a moon shape on the bottom which makes it easier to walk. So that is very helpful. But yesterday I couldn't even wear that because I still couldn't put pressure on the bottom of my foot. Today I can, so I'm very, very thankful. So I have been moving around a little bit more today. So I've been doing some work down in at my desk. I'm um, doing like some crafty things, which you probably will have already seen because I'll probably put that in the video first off this morning. So the rest of the day I'm probably gonna continue the same sort of thing. Um, and then I also want to work on um, some photo ledges for my daughter Joe's room. So the next thing I need to do today is film my Thrift Store Thursday video, which will just be the remainder of the um, Q&A that I wasn't able to finish last week. So I've got to film that this morning and then I'll probably have some lunch and maybe possibly a nap. <laughs> And then I'll probably go down and work at my desk again because it feels so good to be able to like sit at my desk and actually do something because I've been watching a lot of like Netflix and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So I'm tired of watching TV and I want to get up and move around. So I'm able to do that a little bit better today. So I'm very happy about that. I was even able to get some laundry down to the laundry room and start a load of laundry this morning, which I thought was awesome. <laughs> so I was very happy about that. So this morning it turned out absolutely beautiful. I went out in the backyard with the dogs and sat in my little swing chair and it was lovely, but now it's like super windy out. I think it's gonna get colder again, but we had a thunderstorm, our first thunderstorm a couple, day, a couple nights ago and it was loud and there was a lot of lightning. So the grass is actually starting to turn a little green 
and the leaves on my tree, at least in my front yard, are like, you know, they're budding out, which is awesome. And I have tulips that are like four or five inches tall already in my front yard. So I think that is awesome. So it feels as if spring is actually here in Minnesota, finally. Even though it's sunny out, it's not real warm out right now, but the sunshine is beautiful. <laughs> so um, I was hoping actually that today was, yesterday was really nice and I really wanted to get outside, but I couldn't. But um, I was hoping today since I was feeling a lot better, that it would be really nice out so I could sit outside at least and like make a little fire in the fire pit. But with it being so windy, I probably won't be able to do that. So for right now, I am going to get some lunch and then I will, well first I gotta film a video. So I'll film my video and then I will get some lunch. And then, yeah, then I'll just get working on some stuff that I will share with you guys later today, I guess. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Don't mind the mess around here, but look at this. Joe just finished this painting for her class. Isn't it cool? I like it a lot. I think it is super cool. She won't let me have it though, which is very mean of her. It's I, not for you. It's not for me, she says. It's so mean. I like it though. Don't, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you see this? It is snowing like crazy. You can't even see the park. This is what's happening outside my windows right now. It was seriously sunny like three minutes ago. Craziness. What the heck? It's really coming down, man. The wind is so strong. Can you hear that? the lovely contraption that I get to wear. <laughs> it's considered a shoe, not a boot, because it just comes up to the ankle. I'm hoping I only have to use it another day or two, but um, yeah, I don't know. We shall see. I gotta take my boot off for a little bit here and uh, get it elevated. Can you see? It's not really showing up very well. This is what day is this? Like day five? And my foot is still pretty swollen. And it is just starting to bruise. Can you see that? It's getting a little red there. There was no color until like today. Five days. So I don't know if this is going to turn into something really bruised looking or what. We don't know. So anyways, it's looking good. I am very encouraged with how, what a day of difference a day has made. Um, yeah. Because I wasn't too, I was getting a little worried. <laughs> so anyways, I need to get my foot elevated for a while because it's um, starting to swell a little bit more because I think I've been walking around too much. So I'm going to go take myself over to that sofa over there 
and uh, watch a old timey movie, I think. Yay. So the next project I'm going to work on today is this photo album. I bought this photo album and I got these pictures printed up probably over a year ago and they have just been sitting around waiting for me to get to it. Um, and the worst part about it is these photos <laughs> are from 2007. Yeah, look at this. My babies were so tiny then. So yeah, I am really far behind on putting scrapbooks together. Um, let me show you what kind of albums I get because they are super quick and easy to put together. You base, I basically get these ones. They have a different combinations, like different sizes or whatever, but they basically fit perfectly a four by six, if I can get it in the pocket here, a four by six photo just off the printer, right? Which is awesome. This particular book has three vertical and, or I'm sorry, three horizontal and two vertical. Vertical pictures are sometimes hard to find or harder to come by. So what I'll do with these two spots is put um, a scrapbook paper in them and maybe do some journaling or put the year, you know, something like that. Or add a little comment or something like that. These type of photo albums go together super duper quickly and that's my favorite kind. <laughs> There's not a lot of who hash to it. It's just basically putting your photos in in the order that you want and kind of working in between these vertical spots. But this um, book is supposed to hold... What does it say? 300 4 by 6 picture frame pictures. So, um, I'm thinking I've got more than 300 photos here, but I could, I probably can weed them down a little bit. I probably don't need to use all of these, but I would like to, since I've already got them printed up, I might as well go in a book is what I'm thinking. So I may split this year into two books is what I will probably end up doing. So anyways, I am going to get started. So if you haven't done a photo book like this before, I'll just walk you through how I do it. Basically, I get the year, I do yearly increments of family photo albums, and I just do one year per album. And then for the girls' books, I try to put like two or three years in one book for them, if that makes sense. Because otherwise you have way too many albums. <laughs> so first thing I do is put them in order. So I have these put in order as best as that I can remember from, you know, January to December. And then I take out the one holiday, which it looks like Easter is our first holiday that we're going to be doing. And that's all of these pictures right here which is still quite the stack. So then from there, I'm going to group them together. These, these are group pictures and then individual pictures. And then Easter egg hunt. I'm going to put this off to the side. You probably don't need to use all those. Group picture. Oh, that's kind of individual. This is like candid and then staged group pictures like that. Then I got them, that section into, th you know, the how many ever, blah. since I have those sorted into the sections that I want, then I decide which order I want it to go. So I think I'm going to go um, stage photos, then Easter egg hunt, and then, you know, like candid photos. So, put those off to the side there, and then I'll figure out which order I want my pictures to go in. I don't think I've got one of just Jasmine by herself, which I don't. So, I already have one picture in there. So I'm going to start with my family, and then it'll be my sister's family, and then just the brothers and sisters and mom and dad. And then we will go into all the kids that were around at that time, then just my girls, and then these two. So I'll put those in order and put those off to the side. Then I'll do the next section of what I want to do. So let's see, I've got two of Emily. This one for sure I'm gonna start off with. One of Zoe, one of Jasmine. Hmm.
All right, so then I put those behind the other stack. And then finally I do my, my candid photos. Look at this one, I just love this one of Joe. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. I'll probably do like this. So then once I have that first event put in order, then I go and put it in. Then I grab my book and I go ahead and put the book, them inside the book. And in this whole group, I have no vertical pictures at all. So that's kind of going to be a bummer. the book. I am we went together like less than an hour. Um and I still have like pages left. I am shocked. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six pages. So I really thought that this album would go into more than one I didn't think I'd fill up this album with pictures, but I did. So that is awesome. Um as you can see here, I didn't use a whole lot of um, I was trying to get as many pictures in this as I possibly could um, so I didn't do a whole lot of like adding paper at all I just turned the photos that weren't you know like up and like more like this and it works out just fine with these photos because they're big enough you can still see them and they don't look like puny and you just have to, you know I'm liking it so um, I did add a few pieces of paper in the front just because I wanted to get it started and then I decided that I could turn the photos and it looked just fine. So I determined that, you know, like this was my main picture and then the ones that, you know, maybe didn't quite turn out as well get turned a little, get put in the other side sections, which um, are still good pictures and I don't want to not use them. So I kind of just stuck them in there like that. And I love this picture. I'm going to get a glare. There's my four-wheeler. Woohoo! Nice and muddy. So anyways, I have two more spots where I need to put in the paper. And then this book is done. It went together super duper fast. And I don't think it took me more than an hour. And I, you saw that big huge stack of pictures that I had. So I don't know about you guys, but this is the way to go for me. <laughs> Alright my friends, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now.